Alright, in this video we're going to do an example of solving a word problem. So, suppose we've got a point uh, x comma y and it moves along a circle uh, that's represented by x squared plus y squared equals 900 and it never leaves the first quadrant. So, at any location uh, the point determines an angle theta. A horizontal line goes through the point, a vertical line goes through the point, and the diameter uh, determine a triangle. We want to find an expression for that triangle in terms of sine theta and cosine theta. So again, it sounds a little, a little worse maybe than what it is. Uh, so suppose we've got a circle here. So here's going to be my bad circle. Okay, so that's my circle with equation x squared plus y squared equals 900. So the idea is we're sitting here at some point x comma y. And the idea is we're going to draw a vertical line through that point. Um, a horizontal line through that point, and then uh, we're going to go through the diameter of the circle. So that'll have to go through the origin since it's centered the centered at the origin. We just wanted to find an expression for um, that triangle. Uh, the other idea is uh, likewise too at any point x y um, from from the origin we get a little angle here theta, and we want to express this triangle in terms of that angle theta. So, you know, this again, it's, it looks a little more confusing, I think, than what it really is. So, remember the area of a triangle is one half its base times its height. So, maybe, uh, um, so we, let's even rewrite those a little bit. Um, maybe we can label uh, the kind of the top part of our triangle. We can call that the base. So this value at the top, we'll label that as the base. Well, if you think about the base, um, I mean, how far have we gone over? Well, if we're at the point x comma y, we've basically gone over x units. Well, that means we've got x units this way. Since it's symmetric, that means we would have gone x units this way. So if this length is x, that means the entire base would have length 2x. Likewise, to get the height, well, if we're sitting here at some uh, point x comma y, that means the, uh, the height is going to be whatever the value of the y coordinate is. But again, the height of the entire triangle would be twice that. Okay, so now we've got uh, that the area is one half the base times the height. The last thing we need to do is express x and y in terms of theta. All right, so let's think about that again as well. So I'm not going to draw out my entire circle. Um, so here's just you know sort of the first quadrant. So again, uh, we're at some angle here, theta, and we're sitting at this point x comma y. Well, if we're sitting at the point x y again, that means we've moved over x units and up y units. Notice also, too, the equation, recall the equation of a circle is x squared plus y squared equals r squared. So in that case, that means that the r squared is going to equal 900. And if we take the square root of both sides, in this case, we'll get that the radius equals 30. So actually, I know the length of the hypotenuse of this triangle, since it goes from the center of the circle uh, out to the, you know, it touches the circle. I know that that's going to be a radius, and that's going to have length 30. So let's look at this triangle for a second. So this is x, this is y, we've got our angle theta, and we know that this has value 30. Well now we can just use uh, our, our right triangle relationships. Recall that you know sine of the angle theta, sine will be the opposite over the hypotenuse. Cosine of theta is going to be the adjacent over the hypotenuse. So we can simply multiply uh, in both cases by 30. So we'll get 30 sine theta equals y. Also, we'll get that 30 times cosine of theta equals x. And now we have an expression for x and y in terms of theta. So now all I have to do is simply uh, go back and plug that into our, our formula a second ago. We said that the area is one half the base times the height. Well, okay, the one half and a two, we can cancel that out. 
I'm going to pull the other two out front. So we've got 2x times y. That's going to be the area of our triangle. But again, we said that x in terms of theta is going to be 30 times cosine theta. We said that y is going to be 30 times sine of theta. Well, um, let's see. 30 times 30 is going to be 900. 900 times 2 is going to be 1800. So it looks like to me we get 1800 times cosine theta times sine theta. And to me that would be an expression for the area of that triangle all in terms of the angle theta.